you measure from you measure right to there. So you got 25. Well, go tighten it. You know, get it good and tight. There you go. So you got 25.1234. I think my ultimate goal is for the kids to see that they have an opportunity to belong, that they can exceed in uh, STEM. If I can do it, they can do it. And I want them to see that STEM is fine. It doesn't have to be um, seen as tech, too tech or, or too challenging. They can do this if they just really have an interest in it. Well, thank you. How much y'all think Sue Mac weighs? Oh, uh, he got me a good 600. Seven, 364. 36. Eight, a thousand is lower. It's higher. Two thousand. Not Three. that much. Oh no. He probably weighs about what is between it? fourteen and fifteen hundred pounds. All right. This organization, the Kansas City Teen Summit works with underserved students who don't necessarily get a great exposure to the career paths that are available to them in sciences. And uh, they reached out to the College of Forestry, Agriculture, and Natural Resources last fall because they see that in Arkansas, particularly Southeast Arkansas, there's a ample career paths available to students for forestry, agriculture. We also have uh, surveying as part of our college. And for the last two weeks, we've been hosting uh, students from the Southeast Arkansas area, uh, teaching them hands-on some of the uh, you know basics of what we do in careers in all of those fields. And it's taking readings right now from all them satellites up in the, in the orbit, okay? Kind of like how your phone knows where you're at. Get out of it. Uh, mostly about forestry, looking down into nature and learning from it, learning about trees, the agriculture, the wildlife, and just to get life experiences, kind of learn about what else is out to learn. Um, it's about learning about agriculture and how it helps our day-to-day -day life and just to learn more about where our food comes from. Right, it is a combination of recruitment, but it's mostly about STEM, exposure to our kids to, to STEM. And most of these kids have not been around forestry uh, science or animal science. All of this is new. Uh, we're, minorities are underrepresented in these areas. They don't, they don't realize the opportunities for careers in this area, and we want to expose that to them. We, we did was we, we, we spoke a little bit about the importance of, of, of um, modern day wildlife conservation and management being science-based. It's critical that if we're going to, for example, harvest a population, that harvesting doesn't do any long-term damage to the population. Y'all keep calling them. Woo! There you go. Y'all, no, that's perfect. Y'all keep calling them. Y'all call them all up here. Come on. Woo! Like, there you go. Do it loud. Do it loud. Perfect. You did a good, I'm serious, you did a good job. Do, do it again. They already come here. saying call them. <laughs> call them, you're doing a good job. I'm serious, I'm being real serious. I'm not playing with you, call them. We got them into one pasture and we learned that we needed to move them to another one. So the girls had went and they like called them there and we got them into one of the pastures. We decided to move another set of cows and I learned how to like get them to go away from us. A cow call uh, to come to me is woo, mow. And they go is hip, hip. And so the cows know whether to go or come. Still it's on. Taking off. Update flight mission and start. I think it's extremely important to have that hands-on element with the students. Uh, it, it's a little more difficult to envision a career just sitting in a classroom, but to be out with professionals or instructors and, and learn a little bit about what you do day to day in a career path in forestry, ag, uh, wildlife, and, and survey, and uh, gives them, it kind of plants that idea that this is something I can do too.